in more Kanye news over the weekend it appears like out of nowhere um we saw obviously images of Kanye out and about with um his new muse and partner it feels like in Julia Fox who most of the lads will know from being that girl from um, Uncut Gems that everyone kind of was like drooling over because you know I think most men have a little soft spot for a PA WGs and if you know you know so um, when everyone saw them around town, I was thinking, oh, that's an interesting kind of hookup, whatever, but nothing more was thought of it. I, I don't know from my end of things, but then out of nowhere, this interview drops courtesy of Interview Magazine, where Julia Fox basically reviews and writes a little short essay about her whirlwind romance with um, Kanye West, which is flipping insane and really does kind of encapsulate everything everyone loves and hates about Kanye, in it? Because it's insane in, in its kind of sincerity, right? In the fact that you can clearly see a Kanye as a kind of old romantic in that respect, right? He loves to kind of make his partners especially in the beginning stages madly in love you know he likes to kind of um what's that thing called um he likes to uh fawn over them right um in any way shape or form and show his affection in many ways right in very sweet ways in terms of like you know what's that thing he did with kim where he proposed to her in that empty baseball arena sort of thing right it's just epic levels of niceness and the wedding how it was done like really really cool but it's also an extremely you know um attention seeky lacking in lacking in kind of um it's it's a very calculated move right especially off the back of what's going on with kim and pete davidson in terms of oh let me do a public get back but also generate some clicks and also introduce my new moves and also remind people that i am who i say i am right i can make another like he's basically the queen maker so the king maker right? he's the queen maker like i can take this lady who you know don't get me wrong Julia Fox had a moment with Uncut Gems, but since then I don't think people have been really paying much attention to her outside of maybe her baby mother, her baby daddy drama. But for the most part, the hype on her sort of died in the mainstream um, as soon as kind of the, the hype of Uncut Gems died because unfortunately that movie people didn't seem to like too much. I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but some people didn't like it. So for him to go and, you know, pluck or not pluck, but for him to kind of select this lady and say, hey, I'm going to present her to the world and kind of change your perception the same way he did with Kim is an extremely narcissistic thing to do, especially, you know, under the guise of it being some sort of a loving, this loving display. You know what I mean, so it's two twofold, you know, it's everything we love and hate about Kanye. But also I just like the essay. I think the essay is pretty cool, pretty cute. I think the pictures are really nice and well done. They kind of remind me a lot of the way uncut gems was actually filmed if anything it feels like a an extra scene like a bit of bonus footage right from a dvd or a little easter egg you'd find if you meant to click on a certain menu Do you know what i mean it sort of has a similar sort of deal in it not too sure if the photographer is the same person who worked as a director of photography on uncut gems i'm not really too sure but it does have that kind of feel towards it and it's just interesting it's just a really funny interesting thing to see because most likely you would imagine kanye probably saw um, Julia Fox in the movie the same way we did maybe he's only seen Uncut Gems recently I was like oh my god who the hell is that right <laughs> when you saw that bat he turned around he's like oh my god and then you obviously go in to get in touch and then when you learn more about her you also find out that maybe they're destined for each other in terms of how chaotic BPD borderline personality disorder she is and her art background and the fact that she's a bit of a you know a, what do you call it a bit of a scene icon within the little New York art ho kind of art ho sort of scene thing you need to call it from what I'm seeing online but in general the, the essay is really sweet I'm not gonna lie so it's just saying the following um person interview magazine it says I met Ye in Miami on New Year's Eve and there was an instant connection so they've met only on New Year's Eve so it's not too long ago and suddenly you know he's proposing a flipping um photo essay on interview magazine epic um his energy is so fun to be around he had me and my friends laughing dancing and smiling all night we decided to keep the energy going and fly back to New York City to see Slay play quick note on that one right especially off the back of all that fresh and fit nonsense and the manosphere people on YouTube this is something that goes there's something that doesn't get you know stressed enough it's all well and good being the person that's high value and earning money and you know having this and having that and car whatnot but there's something to be said for a guy who has the ability to not only swoon and do over and you know seduce the date but also be a person who's personable enough and has the ability to make the friends of the date laugh as well and have a good time that's always a sign that you're going to be somebody that the friends will approve of and also somebody that your date would actually be like you know what 
let's give this a shot if you're able to make the friends feel comfortable and you don't really hear those guys talk about that thing in much you know it's always about what car they can get how much money they have in a bank account and then they get and then they wonder why the women that they deal with are so dense or that they can come in and want to fleece them if you're giving out signals that all you want is to attain a certain amount of wealth in order to allow you the ability to you know smash certain women because they're out of your price range now you're always going to attract that energy and also they're going to use and abuse you if they need especially if they've got more experience than you in that field so Kanye definitely knows the game in it in that respect. Make their friends laugh and you're also going to be guaranteed to have some sort of opportunity to see them again. Um, it continues here, says, um, yeah, his flight landed at six and the play was at seven and he was there on time. I was impressed after the play. We chose to dinner at the Carbone, which was one of my favorite restaurants, obviously. Um, I was, Carbone, supposedly, I've heard is some New York hip place to go and eat. Everyone kind of goes there. Um, I think the other place is Lucian's. I forgot the other one. Um, it continues, it says, um, at the restaurant, yeah, directed an entire photo shoot for me while people dined. The whole restaurant loved it and they cheered us on while we were happening while it was happening after dinner Ye had a surprise for me i mean i'm still in shock Ye had an entire hotel suite full of clothes it was every girl's come true every girl's dream come true it felt like a real cinderella moment i don't know how he did it or how he got all of it there in time he's a billionaire who could do what he wants in it like how what, how do you mean how did he do it <laughs> but i was so surprised like who does um, things like this on a second date or any date everything with us has been so organic i don't know where things are headed but if it's any indication of the future i'm loving the ride which again pure chaos energy because just the other day this girl was on social media from what i see on screenshots sharing or letting everyone know you know forcing everybody to know that her baby daddy was a deadbeat um and saying that you know he's a drug addict he's not looking after the child and just you know doing what baby mothers do on social media where they get agit agitated with their partner not pulling the weight and then suddenly a couple of few days later she's here you know um, getting dressed in the diesel designed by the white project um, designer and kind of the same sort of thing just the other day he was at the larry hoover concert you know screaming kim's name and wanting her back and remixing lyrics and using her name in it and now suddenly here he is you know in the embrace of some other woman <laughs> it's just oh, i love the chaos the chaos energy for me is what's really made me flipping laugh about this entire thing um I don't know who the stylist lady is, if anyone knows. She looks familiar. At first, I thought it was the daughter of Thingamajiggy, of um, Michelle Lamy, um, who also works at Rick Owens. I thought that was her at first, but I'm not too sure if it is. But yeah, essentially, if you just listen to the podcast, there's pictures of Julia Fox in a hotel suite being dressed by Kanye with the rails full of clothes. All of it is diesel, so it looks like he's trying to be the queen maker for Ju julia but obviously he can't do the balenciaga for Iman thing because you know that's kim so he's having to kind of bring in some new designers and he's plucking of course um these are designed by glenn martins i think his name is of the of white project obviously it's somebody that a lot of people like on the scene and has a very um, particular aesthetic when it comes to clothing and how he you know designs and cuts and materials he uses and whatnot and the stuff he's done for diesel so far especially his debut collection has been really nice so that's great to see and again here's them chilling you know her looking hot him looking cool and just the vibe is nice but yeah it just it definitely looks like something you would have seen as a bit of extra footage from uncut gems in it I think that's a poet, I forgot his name, that he was there too. But yeah, this picture in the hallway is fucking banging in it. Really, really good, man. But it also shows how short Kanye is, right? She's got pretty high heels on and he's got his big boots on and they're about the same height. <laughs> but yeah, this is super hot with a little thong hanging out there. Yeah, really, really good. I'm not going to lie, the whole shoot is amazing. That's a brilliant with height with low rise jeans, right? You can have low rise jeans and pull up your fingers and it can make them look really, I like the perception. It can make them look a lot more, um, lower than what they are and especially because she looks like a quite a short -y, short girl right in terms of legs wise it does somehow elongate your legs as well so that's quite cool to see and of course this is the images of them in carbon restaurant uh, modeling and doing the damn thing and yeah it looks pretty decent i'm not going to lie the whole thing is pretty entertaining to watch from afar another image again from them it's being styled somewhere kind of sipping on the wine of course it looks like it's a chardonnay man right of course she looks great there the bunching doesn't work for me here but still yeah but yeah i wonder if that is the michelle lamy daughter maybe not maybe somebody else but i wonder what stylist that is that that buckle on the on the belt is questionable but yeah we keep it moving um but yeah all of it looks pretty sick man not gonna lie it looks pretty sick so whirlwind romance um all covered there by that little essay